Hello, everyone. Oh. Cool. We're just going to get started with uh, Alex and Kelsey's thoughts on the game, and then we'll open it up to questions here in person and then online. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it was tough on our legs coming into this game for a three game week, but I felt like we started really strong. Um, and then there was, you know, ebbs and flows of the game where we had to kind of dig in a little bit. Um, but overall, I felt like um, we had a pretty good team performance, um, a really tough week. So um, it's nice to come out feeling feeling good about this tie. Um, I don't feel like a lot of calls um, went our way. Uh, actually, a lot of calls went against us um, unfairly. But at the same time, uh, I'm just proud of this group for kind of getting through uh, this tough week um, and kind of showing a lot of grit. Yeah. Yeah, to build on what Alex said, I think we're so excited to be at home for a couple of games after being on the road for so long. Um, our connections are just getting better and better each game, and we created a lot of chances today. Um, our grit was awesome, and it was tough playing three games in one week, but but our determination showed, and we're really happy to, to grit out a point. All right, we'll start here, and then we'll go around. Go ahead. Uh, so, obviously, we meant to take a lot of games on, uh, on the legs. How is it uh, going into this stretch of games when obviously you haven't had this many years back to back? Um, what is that like as far as like recovery and recuperation? Is it more, uh, you know, just getting back and resting or now just there's more time for a rest at all? I think in between these games, it was tough because like the review of the previous game to the preparation of the next game and then also physically getting our bodies ready um, was just, it was, it was hard. Um, and I felt like the coaches and our medical team did an amazing job of managing that. Um, but I do feel like we're at a point in the season where we can do three 90 minute games in a seven or eight day stretch. Um, it's, it's tough, but I feel like we're at the point where our legs can handle a little better than a month or two ago. Um, just to build on that, we have such a deep roster to where we really rely on every single player to be ready to make a difference. <coughs> um, everyone's a difference maker and everyone is ready for their name to be called when um, need be so we can have such a great performance all 90 minutes for consecutively for three game weeks like this one. Alex, can you talk about the goal that you scored? And I mean, what's what does it say to say to you maybe about seeing Kaylin getting the assist on the goal you scored today? Yeah, I mean, Kaylin is great with her feet, and her range is uh, the best in the league. Uh, but I think that we have a good connection, um, and I I know that the fullbacks in this league like to jump on the. Uh, um, on the opponent's fullbacks, and so as I saw um, Huerta jumping on our full back, on our fullback uh, McNabb, I just kind of raised my hand for her to play the ball in behind. She played it perfectly in behind, and um, just try to finish it far post and low, um, knowing that the goalkeeper kind of is pretty good with high shots. Um, but <laughs> I mean, Kaylin just you know plays like another field player. Uh, her range is it, it's just incredible. It helps us so much. Uh, just for either of you, obviously these two back-to-back -back draws are kind of, I'm sure, tough, but there's still a lot of just growth and potential for them. So what are you hoping to just take away from this, these past two games and to going uh, against Boston? Yeah, I think in these past two games we've we've drawn, we've come away with one point from each game, but we've really seen growth in our performance. Our connections are really good, and so just continuing to take away these these uh, keys and what we've done really well in these games into Gotham will be really crucial for us. Yeah, I mean, it's a bummer that we have to go away to Gotham because <laughs> these two games were really fun, entertaining, just um, great for us to kind of feed off of the crowd. So um, we're looking forward to, to getting back here in front of Front of our fans. And I'm sure with your connection with some of your, um, you know, like Ali Wong and things like that, which is not playing right now, but just how do you kind of go into that match with, I know even just throughout the league, just some of those connections that you have with players and trying to put that aside to like focus on the game? Yeah, I think that we play, you know, a lot of us play with and against each other all the time. Um, so we just kind of leave it as, you know, take it as that. But going to Gotham, obviously, like, we had a great game against them last time, but um, we've seen that they've pulled out some really good performances. They're gonna be at their home. So now for us, it's like physically resting 
um, you know, the body a little bit extra because it was three game week, but then getting right in it, going after it and not kind of um, taking anything for granted because we have quick pass performance behind us against Gotham and look at them as, as a team that can give us, you know, some challenges. Alex, the first half, there were a lot of collisions where it looked like they initiated it and got the best of it. And the call would be blown against you Are you guys. trying to get us back, like fined? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what's right? going on? <laughs> um, you're an expansion team. Is there maybe some disrespect there? And you're the veteran player who knows all this stuff. Do you lobby the ref and say in a polite way, your point of view on why it was a bad call? I mean, as the captain, the ref has to has to listen, you know, to to myself. And um, and I feel like, you know, going up to the ref, I want to like speak on behalf of the team and know that, you know, he wasn't protecting us in the way that I feel like a ref should. Um, I think that, it, you know, it initially i i think that there were some calls against us in that regard but at the same time like we can't just like expect to get those we have to just continue playing and put whatever calls or no calls behind us and kind of that's what we had to do through the whole game and that's why i think like i'm really proud of this team for kind of pulling out the tie um and you know pretty close to getting the win too a lot of instances and are you surprised you guys didn't score after the first goal because you created some nice chances yeah we had we had a lot of opportunities um had some chances off target kelsey as well and i uh, i feel like we were unlucky to get a second it's, yeah alex a lot of people are saying that this is your best season ever how do you rate your fitness at this point compared to other seasons and what was it like playing against Megan Rapino as opposed to Wick? <laughs> There's a lot of banter on the field, which is fun, but I'm trying to stay in the zone and not <laughs> not in, engage in that. Um, but but it's always fun playing against Pino. Um, she's obviously a very technical player. She reads the game so well. Um, she's she's quick, you know, so it's it's tough to play against her and I'm just happy to see her back on the field. But in regards to kind of the season that I've had so far, you know, I I just feel really settled, really um, at peace with um, my play on the field and then just my life off the field. And I think it's all come together at the right time. We're going to take the last two online here. Jeff, you can start and then Hector. Uh, just wondering for, for both of you on that front line, um, it looked like the, you know, you were able to sort of press them early with, with some success, get in behind, and then that maybe shifted a little bit. There was that stoppage in the 23rd minute there. Um, was, was that sort of a, what, what did you see change? Was that something where they dropped off? Was that dropping off pressure on your end? What, what kind of shifted there? Yeah. Okay. Um, um, yeah, I mean, I, I felt like the every single game, you know, we want to start on the front foot. We want to be aggressive. Um, and I felt like we did that. We got in behind. We kind of picked off some balls um, off of their center backs. Uh, and we we're unlucky not to get a second goal in the first 20 minutes. But I do feel like they played. Um, they got themselves into the game kind of in after the 25th minute. And for us, it was then kind of being able to stay in it and grind it out. You know, unfortunately we kind of went in at one, one at halftime, but overall, I think like it was great for us to build on last game's performance because we felt like we had probably the most complete performance we had in the season against Portland last game, unlucky not to win. And I feel like this is another game that we just like showed why we are continuing to be you know at the top of the table and around um those top teams and and that's because we you know are just playing well together we're we're kind of having the you know following the guidance of casey and i feel like our roles are so definitive um on the fields that it's easy to know where everyone is going to be all right hector last question please and you guys and angel city have had really impressive seasons in your expansion year uh, how much do you attribute that to having had the opportunity to play in the Challenge Cup and getting to know a lot of these things be beforehand? Well, I just want to say that I'm not for the Challenge Cup being in preseason. I think it could be a really great, like, July tournament as international players are gone. So I just want to preface it with that. But I do think as an expansion team, having um, 
some really competitive games in preseason um, were helpful for us to get our feet underneath us. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you. Oh. Casey, we'll start out with her thoughts on the match and then we'll open it to questions. Yeah, I think it was a, a game of two halves. You could tell in the second half we played three games in a week, but I thought we created so much in the first half, some really positive openings and chances. And maybe if we'd have made more of them, we would have had an advantage and, and gone in at half time uh, more comfortable. Uh, second half, I have to really credit the players and the resilience and character because they came at us and fought on, obviously, players and uh, we had to defend. Uh, yeah, we didn't lot, it didn't get a lot our way, either, so that was difficult. Um, but having said that, listen, it's a massive point in the scheme of things. Rain are a very established team, good team, and to, to do that in these warm conditions in a free game week, I'm really pleased with the performance. Okay, we're going to start over here with Jackie, to your, right here. Um, Casey, Alex talked about just her leadership um, on the field and just wanted to get your thoughts on just how would you describe the way that she maybe handles those situations or how would you just try to retain in those scenarios? She's leading with her performances. You know, she's getting in behind, creating chances, she's tracking back, she's defending. She's giving us complete performances, you know, as, as a leadership and you know, keeping calm in moments. And, yeah, like the goal, for instance, is... You know, it's, it's a credit to her. So, yeah, outstanding. And I think that's obviously helpful to have in our team, especially because we're quite a young team as well. Coach, their defense, so the last game, Jody said their traps gave you trouble. Did you want to just go over the top and yeah, in, I thought in case we, of yeah. points at first goal? Yeah, I think we went over the top and we still created. You know, Sophia has a chance. We had a couple more where we probably should take them. Um, we don't. Uh, but we knew that they try and create traps for us. We knew that we were causing problems in behind. And I thought we did that, um, you know, so we had a, a lot of set pieces again today. So, That's a beautiful goal, wasn't it? Great goal, great goal, great ball, great finish. Um, so, yeah, really pleased with that. And we probably could have had a couple more. And why were you yellow carded? What, what's, what's the back story there? Did you watch the game? Oh, yeah. Do you think that was an acceptable level of initiation? No, but I don't, still don't know why you got a yellow card. Because I, because when McNabb went down for a head injury, our trainer didn't go on the pitch because I told her not to. McNabb got up and was fine. McNabb was then asked to leave the field, which isn't the laws of the game. She doesn't need to leave the field because our trainer didn't go on and treat her. Oh. So I a little bit frustrated uh, on the back end of a lot of hey, my hey, Alex, look at my shirt. What was the back story of several minutes earlier when he came over and warned you? Because there was foul after foul after foul. How Alana Cook doesn't get a yellow card today is beyond me. And the main priority of a referee is to protect the players and make the game safe. And I didn't feel my players were safe today with him in the middle of the um, now, I asked you this in the preseason. You're an expansive team. Were you worried that the refs are going to kind of not give you the respect? Is that what we're saying? Or? I would just ask the league if they think that that's an acceptable level at this elite level of the professional game. When he's asked at halftime by one of my staff why someone hasn't been booked, he didn't even know who was making the fouls. So if that, I think it's a, I think it's a question for the league. If they think that's an acceptable level of officiating, when there's 22 professional athletes out there, that's up to them to decide. Because yes, yeah, I'll just get fined if I speak candidly, so I can't. Right, yeah, la last week you talked about not getting behind in the game. Mm -hmm. uh, you had at least five five attempts in the first 11 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how did you feel about the, the, the aggression? And the, the yeah, I thought we, we started really brightly. It was obviously something we spoke about was can we get in front rather than go behind? Can we put that put them on the back foot? And we had so many positive openings. It's now being ruthless in those moments and taking those openings to give ourselves a little bit more comfort in those moments, you know? And if we go one, two, even three, how does that psycholog psychologically impact the opponent? And, you know, unfortunately we didn't take those, but really really pleased with our start we knew we'd have to start right and get in front because it's the third game in a week okay so based on today's performance what's something the team will work on and focus on during the week for next week 
the opposition, so, you know, Gotham are slightly different in terms of the way they play. Um, you know, obviously getting in the final third was a key aspect. We created chances, it's now finishing them. Um, so we'll continue to, we have to bring our load down a little bit. That's something we're going to have to do. We've, we've had a lot of minutes and a lot of players now, so we need to be mindful of that. We've also got an international window coming up as well. So we'll focus on Gotham. We'll look at their threats and spaces to exploit, and we'll prepare the team as we always do. PC Alex said that Kalen's almost like a 12th player on the field, and seeing her get the assist today, like, when's the last time you've probably seen a goalkeeper contribute in that kind of fashion? I just want help to a love a field player. So, yeah, yeah, field player, yeah. yes, field player. Yeah. yeah, I think, obviously, she's done it in the Challenge Cup. She actually played a similar ball to Alex and got it behind in the Challenge Cup. So, we've seen it. Like, her feet and her range is unbelievable, and it, it means that our team's we can play short, we can go behind them, straight from the goalkeeper. So it gives us a different dynamic and it was a great ball and a great finish. And yeah, it's it's something we can probably use a little bit more. Hi coach. Um, so set pieces have kind of been a kryptonite for us in the last couple of matches. Was that something you guys worked on a lot to defend against or? Yeah, and in the last week, because we know their deliveries are good. And obviously when Megan Rapino comes on, she's dangerous from set pieces too. Her deliveries are world-class. So we knew that, it can win or lose your games. Uh, I thought we defended well in most of the set pieces. There's still areas we can improve constantly, and that's all over the pitch. Um, but yeah, really proud that you know that wasn't wasn't an, an area we needed to to review after today. All right, we're gonna go last two online, starting with Jeff again, and then Hector. Uh, okay, so you mentioned that um, sh that second half, maybe fatigue setting in. Uh, just wondering yeah. maybe what you thought. They, they were able to get on the ball a bit more, obviously, right before that goal. Was that uh, – what what changed there? Because you obviously had that high press that was putting them under some pressure, and then they kind of settled in a little bit. Yeah, I think it's momentum, isn't it? I think first 15, 20, we came out the blocks flying, and, you know, maybe we – we expended some energy there and we needed a, a little bit to break the momentum down and slow the game down a little bit. And then, you know, they get back in the game and it, it energised them and, and maybe took a little bit of energy out of us. But, you know, we still had a, a long time left in the game. We knew that we could create more chances um, and, and so could they. So we needed to be really diligent in our defending. We just needed to be a little bit more compact in moments. And once we got our shape right and a little bit more compact, they caused us less problems. All right, Hector, last question. Hey, coach, great game. Uh, you guys dominated the first 10 minutes and uh, they seem to get stronger towards the end. How much of that do you attribute to the fact that Megan Rapino played the entire second half? It seems like the, their team responded to her and she created a lot, a lot of chances. Yeah, world-class players are world-class mm -hmm. players. You know, they're like fine wines, aren't they? They just get better with age and you look at her game intelligence, how she does things quickly, gets the ball back in play takes free kicks, causes problems, you know, ghosts out wide rather than tracking back. It causes you problems. And, and she's a world-class player for that reason. And, and obviously she added to their, their armory once she came on. Thank you. Right. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Casey.